glad that you can join us on today. For the next few weeks, we're going to be talking about a series called Chance and Taking Risks for Our Future. You know, it might seem unlikely, but I think some of the things that are hardest for us to take a risk on are the things that are the most important to us. Things like our dreams and our future. And yet, because those things are so important to us, they're the things we probably need to risk the most on. Those things are truly worth the risk that we take. Sometimes things hold us back, like we're waiting on God's timing, or we're waiting for everything in our life to be perfect. We truly can trust God. If we really know him, we have a relationship with him, we can trust him to provide for us. The Bible tells us in Genesis 22 that God is our provider, and that in times when we don't even know where the answer is coming from or what the answer might be, when we might be facing confusion, or we're at a crossroads and we're wondering, which way should I go or should I take a step forward? Should I take this risk? God is the provider. He's the one who provides for us the wisdom and the ability and the resources to do what's in our heart. Taking a risk on God's timing can be so hard for us sometimes. We don't want to wait or we're not certain in the wait. We don't know if it's going to happen. We don't know how long it's going to be. Because the truth is God's already acted. He acted 2,000 years ago when Jesus hung on a cross and died for us to have a right relationship with God. He initiated this abundant life that he's given us. And the opportunity that we have to make choices in our life, we can follow our heart, we can follow our dreams, knowing that he has promised that he'll be our provider. For several years of my life, I had a big poster on my mirror every morning, and it reminded me of Matthew 6, Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, and then next it said on my paper, everything else will be taken care of. I can take a risk in knowing that if I put God first, everything else is going to fall into place. Putting God first in our life helps us prioritize the important things. We know the things that we need to focus on by the things that he provides for us. When we seek first the kingdom of God, we get to reap all the benefits that come from that kingdom. The first and greatest blessing is that we're at peace with God. We're not his enemy anymore. We're friends of God now. And then he offers us freedom. We get to live a life free from sin and from shame, from fear. We don't have to fear the future. We don't have to live in shame of our past, but we get to live in freedom with God as our friend. If you haven't put God first in your life, that would be priority number one. We would love to hear from you. Would you go to our website and click contact us? Leave us a note of what God's doing in your life and let us know how we can help you. We would love to hear from you. If you'd like to be part of this ministry or get this good word out to other people, you can go to the donate page on our website and find different ways that you can be involved. You can find our website at greenvilletransformation.org. 